What's up, everybody? What's up? Well, <laughs> what's up, everybody? How's it going? Uh, this next video, next series of videos, is going to be a game show, just like Smealing, which we had in our second year show, which was a surprisingly big hit. The, the game show this time is not really something you can get points on. It's going to be an escape room. Uh, for those of you who don't know what an escape room is, it's basically this place that you're locked into with your friends or your enemies, and then you have to do a bunch of tasks and puzzles uh, to find keys in order to get yourself out of the room, basically. Uh, so I figured it would be cool to do with our simulation suite, which we spend a lot of time in, in third year partnerships and in our capstone time as well. Um, and to, do, to, to use tasks that are um, primarily things that we've learned in the sim suites, things like trauma assessment, uh, placing an IV, you know, intubating, <laughs> things like that. Uh, the teams, I, as much as I would love to keep the SP pairs that we've been you know, using for the past two years, uh, it's not really feasible because you know, those pairs have some MSTPs in them. So instead, uh, I decided to kind of change a little bit uh, and look instead at rotation block buddies. So what I mean by that is uh, people who were not necessarily friends, maybe like chatted sometimes before third year, but then ended up on a rotation together and then really hit it off, became really good friends, and uh, got along really well. Uh, got a lot of help from the SimSuite staff, you know, Julie Woodhouse, uh, Brittany Novak, and then some, some residents, Herman, shout out to Herman. Uh, hopefully this is a lot of fun. Uh, I hope that the teams also had a lot of fun. I hope they stress out a little bit, because it is a competition. The team that gets out first in the earliest amount of time wins. Uh, there are penalties throughout the puzzles, so uh, they do have to make some decisions sometimes. Hopefully it's a good time. Hope you guys enjoy. What's the winning time right now? You guys are the first ones. Oh. So, let's get off. Jesus. We're trying to redefine the room for you. Okay. What's, what's going on? All right. Let's not explore yet. Yeah. I got a couple. I need to adjust it. It's too tall for this. All right. Cool. All right. 450, I think. Captain Zambia. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, 20 minutes, 45 seconds. 24 minutes. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> the time to beat is, <laughs> is Yosh and Io. So they got out. Really? Even with their penalties, they might have gotten out. Good luck. Wait, so wait, wait. See you later. <laughs> That's when the time was a strong start. <laughs> you may now open your first one. Alright, ready? Okay. <laughs> to get out of here, you'll need to bellow uh, a password for someone we all know. Sejal! You'll start your quest with a little prick. What nurses, what do nurses get when someone's real sick? Laugh! Do we just shout it? Laughs. <laughs> I thought oh, other right. like more specific laughs. Do we put in an IV line? IV. Okay. It's either that or my side. Or I'm pricking you. Uh, it's, it's just not right. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we need to get blood. IV. Yeah, like yeah. IV something. So, we need to don some gloves here. Wait, I read everything out loud. Oh, I was. I gotta, I gotta bellow it. Your task is as follows. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Your ta I found something over here. Oh, okay. Your task is as follows. Using the equipment here, place an IV in the mannequin arm and draw to blood. The color of blood will indicate the color of the key for the lockbox. Penalties, if you peek at the IV tubing with the blood in it, you will be disqualified. So, I do remember that's a good place. Sorry. <laughs> oh, so, okay, right, so we gotta, we gotta stick an IV in. What size of the IV? Um, large. You're large? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where did, do you see holes on this where people have pricked it? Oh, smart. Here, here, here. Sure. Can you put over and bring it to <laughs> sterile. Very sterile. Yeah. Come on, Amish. Come on, man. We're all counting on you. Fail. Okay. I don't think we need this. It's not human. Yeah. Let's just stick it in. 
This thing? Should we just guess? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, press this thing, right? Uh... No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wasting supplies. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think you're supposed to see a flash and then release it. Give me that sweet flash. It's blue. Blue. Oh, I'm taking it out. The world's <laughs> most complex gender reveal. <laughs> blue. Blue. Hey, I did it. Nice job. Oh, thank you. Oh, the worst the IV job ever. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. That's why I got it. Honestly, the skin looks blue here. And there's blue. There's blue dots. Oh, what a doctor! <laughs> Alright. I am now going to open the box with the blue key. Fantastic, you've done it. You found the right key, and on this path you've begun sprightly. Your next time. <laughs> what? Oh god. I'm just laughing about the writing. Behind the device that protects patient modesty. Yeah. Reveal of him! <laughs> this feels wrong. Uh, Alright. We get to read some more. Very exciting. An accessory with blindfold. Oh god. Place all of this equipment in a place that your teammate can see, as well as the camera. Put on the blindfold. Using your teammate's guidance will have to assemble the equipment and mine intubating a patient in order to save their whole life. Place all this equipment in a place that your teammate can see, as well as the camera. Can we move the table? Yes, it says move the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the sass. Yeah, no sass, please. <laughs> I intimated the esophagus. Oh, <laughs> you want to? Um, sure. You know what? Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Okay, turn. Uh huh. Should I go another 10 steps forward? Or? No. Oh, I can't even do it without a point. <laughs> Wait, we, right. just, we just intubate the air? Just like you might intubate the air. Okay. Move it to the left. Okay, there's the handle. So you want to put that together. Um, that looks like the Macintosh that you have. Yeah, more forward. Okay. More to the to the right. Okay. A little bit further back. A little bit more further back. Further towards yourself. A little more. Now a little bit up, and a little bit to the right, more to the right, more to the right, more to the right. Another 90 degrees. <laughs> All right, okay. perfect. Okay, okay, so now if you take the handle and approach the kind of from the top, like further up, and then I forgot how to do this, like this. Yeah, yeah, nice. And then sick. That's I think that's right. Your hands almost there. Uh, back yeah. to the back to the right. Up. Nope. Yep. Right. Right. Oh, no, what? You passed it oh, oh, right next to that. No, okay. like right next to the box. I totally forgot all this. Oh no! You touched it. Yeah, there it is. Uh, oh yeah, the, the, the thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna pretend to intubate the patient. Right. We are gonna intubate the patient. <laughs> Alright. Okay. We just do it here? Just pretend, yeah. Oh, okay. Back up a little bit. I'll just get it. Easy. Sorry. <laughs> you don't have to enter the patient. You just have to mime it in the air by the table. Oh, oh okay, okay. Oh, okay. They don't want us to ruin the super expensive equipment, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um, we got it. Look at the valve. Gonna do the jaw thrust. Clear it, yeah, put the jaw forward. Ooh, perfect visualization. Wow. Wow. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Scissor, boom. <laughs> push it, push yeah. it. Can you Going see in. the, can you Lift see, up. can you see the, oh, I see it, give me the, give me the tube. I'm not allowed to. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Wait, but also, I think you're gonna have to pull that out because you have to put the stylus into the tube. What? So you can 
I just do it? Yeah. With air? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's in. Alright, that's what you got. And I'm gonna pull this out. Yeah. Okay. And it's done. Alright, that's what he said to me. Did not succeed to your patient. No, you're not! There's a. Pull out the silo for me. Oh, yeah. Boom, okay. alright. There's, there's, there's a syringe. Oh, wait, there's a syringe. You have to fill out the. Oh! <laughs> Wow, you're doing a pretty good job for me not saying we <laughs> <laughs> Well, we were trained, yeah. We were trained. I'm an expert in nighttime intubation. <laughs> <laughs> that is this guy's head. I'm gonna put this in. Inflate that guy. Yeah, inflate, inflate, inflate. And then I'm gonna pull this out. Are you hot, guy? You're still not successful. I'm not to He's <laughs> <laughs> So, this is the patient's head. Head, this is the patient's legs. Okay. Right. Then yeah, I'm going to put the head off. I'm going to put this in. He's visualizing the molecular. Yeah, and then I'm going to place this through and guide it in. And it's in. Yeah, and it's I'm going to inflate the screen. In the and then pull it out. Sajo? You are still not successful. <laughs> and then I inflate the balloon. I'm first sure gonna say it's not. It's not done. Alright, it's intubated, it's not so Nope. <laughs> it, it can be a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna pull I'm gonna inflate the screen. In the and then pull it out. Sajo? You are still not successful. <laughs> so you can swap hands. So yeah, swap hands. There you go, yeah, try that. Okay. Well, yeah. So All right. So he's pulling back. Nice guy. I'm left-handed. You put the thing on the. This. Oh wait, this is supposed to go this way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like wow, really. <laughs> All right, right. Okay. Um. So. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Uh... Oh my God. <laughs> Take this out. Right. Doctor, you've done it! <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Now what? I think I'm going to have a Hurry up and talk! Is this? <laughs> that one? There's so many screens in here. Big one on the wall. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Oh. We gotta read the phone. Okay, Gina? Both our pinkies? Together. Together! One, two, three! Okay. Great. Yes? Oh. Ah. God, this is so fun, Sudge. Thanks. I know. <laughs> this is just like escape the room. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> now what? It's an right. EKG. So we have an EKG here. Um, I'm guessing the challenge is to figure out what's going on. All right, we go to our little access thing, so right. So maybe there's some uh, stuff going on. No. <laughs> All right, no. well, he's got a, he's got a STEMI, right? Let's get up to the cat lab. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna last the down. Yeah, it's it's not fair. I'm doing research here. How many boxes equals? This is an EKG. Do not. I concur with that. <laughs> Wait, is it kid? Oh no! <laughs> a good way to get a clue would be to check in CPR. Or... 
Yeah, try that. I think he'll say not to because it's expensive, so. Got that deep. Stay on our. Using findings from their physical and findings from their history, the earplug teammate will have to correctly announce the treatment for this patient. Once saved, the patient will give you vital information to escape. Penalties if the teammate with the earplugs and removes the earplugs that the DQ, the teammate with the walkie talkie takes out the headphones and puts the walkie talkie on speaker, that's a DQ. If you're desperate, you can scream at your teammate with the earplugs in. However, this will add five minutes to your finishing time and everyone else on the floor will be disturbed by your lack of professionals and your teammate should not be able to do so. Okay. Uh, subtle so your wit, it just drives me crazy. This is, this it's is too much, it's too much, uh, Yeah. <laughs> okay, who's gonna do what? I don't know where it's right. Can you hear me? Faulting. Oh gosh. I've never wanted to do this close to so. <laughs> I'm just gonna seep into your brain. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? 10-4. 10-4, goodbye. Alright, I'm pretty sure Amish can hear 
<laughs> everything you're saying. You have, so you have to like whisper and move away from him. So come over to like the iPhone. Okay. Alright, cool. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> say, say her name so she can hear you. She might need to put them in deeper. Okay, so you're closing the holder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if these are me. Yeah, you. Right. Yeah, make sure he can't hear you say his name or something. Try to get his attention. Several. His name, yeah. not my name. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, why can't he hear me? You can't hear me. You should put them in deeper. They're pretty far mm -hmm. out. Say her name, see if she can hear you first. Lot of it. Yes. Okay, well, <laughs> she can definitely hear you. I can see her earplugs out. <laughs> she literally nodded. Like, be a little she, more covert, please. She looks like uh, Shrek. That's yeah, not supposed to be here. They're stuck out so much. You look like Shrek, is what Sogo says, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good now, right? Can't you hear you? Can you hear me, Alpha? <laughs> 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 what do I do with the phone, Sedge? I think so. I don't know. Do you know? <laughs> Did he eat a phone? Right. Um, oh, this is your consultant. You just found him face down in the office. You have to, you have to save him. Yeah, hard day. Yeah. So you can ask me anything physical, history related, anything at all. All right, tell me the history. You gotta be more specific than that. <laughs> um, what about him? Responsive? No. Does he have a pulse? I don't know, why don't you find out? <laughs> the mannequin can speak? Is he saying something? Oh, I speak to the mannequin. Okay. Hello? <laughs> what, what do I say to the mannequin? Like that. And you have to use the exam as well. Was he doing fine this morning? Yeah, I mean, he was eating at breakfast, and she was a little stressed, but other than that, it was not. Do you know what she was stressed out about? Not work. <laughs> I hate that so much. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. Uh. Think about your ABCs. Um, check them out. Um. Check the patient's breathing. We didn't have history of this happening before, but yeah, like, so we know about his medical history, like... He has no chronic medical conditions, um, like diagnosable chronic medical conditions. Does he take any drugs? None that are prescription. <laughs> Is that to allude that he does take something else? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What about um, drugs? What about him? Drugs, such as for you? He has a history of substance abuse, yes. What is his history? Uh, he has used non prescription opioids in the past. Does he have underlying heart disease? No. Do you have, do you have narcolepsy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, The patient's having a breathing problem. The patient's not breathing anymore. Okay, I don't know about that. You should count it. <laughs> His breathing respiration rate. Okay. Kevin, what if we don't escape? Sajal <laughs> <laughs> said he'd leave us here forever. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? His eyes? Look at his eyes. I can't. There aren't any eyes. Are these pupils? <laughs> G. 
Jeez. <laughs> Support the Phoenix medicine. Look <laughs> at his eyes. They're non oriented bilaterally. I need to intubate him now? Or shock him? He ingested something. He's an IV drug user. But what does his eye have to do with it? Small eye? A little eye? <laughs> That's the drug he's taking? Eye, what is eye? He took it through his eye? He fell and hurt his eye? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, he just has to tell you what the treatment is. <laughs> Remember, he has to say the treatment. Oh, you have to say the treatment. He shouldn't be able okay, to hear so you. We probably took some kind of opioid, so I guess we give him Narcan. Alright, can we move on now? <laughs> just say the treatment. You can convey to her with the diagnosis. She, you know, so she has to figure it out. Well, she just has to say the treatment. You, If you already know it, you can yeah. tell her that you know it. It's very slow. Just convey that to her. Uh, so far. Oh, I, wait, could I, I could literally communicate to her that it's that? Yes, yes. Or do I just have to keep no, no, making no, no, her no, no, take no. vital you, signs she until she's somehow... No, no, no. She just needs to know what it is. Oh. And what, then did she did just say the treatment. And the, and the... <laughs> Four. <laughs> <laughs> Opioid? Ah, hey, we got it! So that was so doing? dumb! Hi, I'm, this is the patient. Thank you for saving my life. You're, You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> uh, I have to tell you something. What? 0521. 0521, that's a code password. 0521, thank yeah. you. I hope you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Two, five, two, one. Is that when you graduate? Oh, yeah. Is it? Is it? I think we're gonna break a record for being the slowest. No, 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 no. You gotta have to. I'm pretty sure we've already broken the record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does this count against our time? Yeah, I hope you close the next one. What would we do with this bone? What the hell is this bone slow as hell? It's so slow. <laughs> How old is this iPhone? Shit, turn it on first. Okay. Do we call for help? <laughs> it's perfect. Oh. oh, it's on. No, it is on. Zero. Oh, Let's go, messages, no doubt. Oh, okay, Dr. Glass. Dr. Glass! Oh, the name! I love the Alan Dr. Glass background. Okay, you got out. <laughs> Good job, congratulations. These, this phone was so small, I forgot. That's yeah. how the fives were, man. What am I, what is my goal? I'm trying to get out of the room. Alright, that's it. That was the password for that. Well, that was
So, Mr. Awesome. <laughs>